Good morning, Oasis kids. I'm so glad that you've tuned in on this awesome Sunday. We're getting ready to do a new series and it is called Run, Jump, and Fly. And so it's gonna be really cool because it's about superheroes. All right, we're gonna get ready to do some worship. See you in a minute.
Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's me, Chris, your Oasis Kids director. Here is a question for you. Have you ever played a game in which you had to decide who is going to go first, right? And if everyone wanted to go first, you had to do things like eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe, if he hollers, let him go. My mom told me to choose the very best one and you are not it, right? Yeah, we've all had to do things like that. Or bubblegum, bubblegum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? Okay? Or my mother chose the very best one and it is Y-O-U. When I was a kid, we always used to do the eeny, meeny, miny, mo, And we tacked on other rhymes for a big finish. Everyone likes to be first, but when you can't be first, it takes someone with a great attitude to handle it well. By great attitude, I really mean a generous attitude. Did you know we can have attitudes that are generous or we can have attitudes that are stingy and greedy. Let's think about that. Hmm. To be generous means to be free and extravagant in giving and sharing. So if you are always wanting to be first and you get upset when you're not and someone else is, what kind of attitude do you think you have? A generous or a greedy attitude? All right, so what kind of actions shows a generous attitude? What do you think? Think about that for a minute. What kind of actions show a generous attitude. Well, the Bible tells us about a Jewish man named Zacchaeus who lived in the town of Jericho. God had created Zacchaeus knowing him to be in friendship with him. But something, something had happened to Zacchaeus. His heart along the way. He worked for the Romans as a tax collector, which means he collected the tax money and all of his neighbors in Jericho had to pay the Roman government. So we're gonna get ready to listen and see what happens. All right, so you're not gonna be able to see me, but you're gonna be able to see these characters and it's gonna be really cool. So this little guy right here, you see this little guy? This little guy is gonna play the role of Zacchaeus, okay? And it's gonna be really fun and cool. And I'm gonna pull him back and this guy right here, you guys all know him. This is Kristoff, right? And he's from Frozen. But right now, Kristoff gets to play the role of Jesus. So it'll be lots of fun, okay? Now we're gonna be able to see everything that happens right here. Right here we have a little road, okay? And one day, Jesus was traveling down the road, okay? And he's walking along, and we have all these crowds right here, okay? You see all these crowds right here? And Zacchaeus, you know, he's super small, right? And so he's trying to see past this crowd, and he's like, I can't see! Excuse me, excuse me, I cannot see! Oh, I cannot see! All right, and so Jesus was walking down the road, right? Zacchaeus couldn't see. So what does Zacchaeus do? Zacchaeus 
decided he was going to climb this tree. So he goes over to this big tree right here and he climbs up into the tree. Okay? You see him? He's way up in this tree, okay? And Jesus comes and he's like, he's like, who, who's that up in the tree? Oh, that's Zacchaeus. So he walks right back over here. He gets off the road a little bit, okay? And he goes up to the, he goes up to the tree. Zacchaeus, come down. I'm gonna stay at your house today. And so Zacchaeus comes down off the tree, right? Because Jesus had stopped him. And he was no longer a tax collector because Jesus had graciously said to him, come down and let's go to the house. And so Zacchaeus and Jesus go to the house, right? They go to the house in the town. Whoop, he fell down. Go to the house in the town of Jericho. Right? So now all these people are gone, right? They're gone because Zacchaeus and Jesus are in the house, right? And so later that evening at the house, Zacchaeus talked with Jesus. Don't you think he asked, why did you stop by the tree and say you were coming to my house? I think Jesus would have answered, because my father loves you and so do I. What do you think? Hmm. So after they talked, Zacchaeus stood up and made an announcement. Here and now, I give half of my possessions to the poor. And I have cheated. If I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay back four times the amount. And Jesus responded. Jesus speaking. Today, salvation has come to this house. Ooh, so that's a really cool sound effect there. And uh, the Bible tells us that God created people to be like Him. That means that God created Zacchaeus to be kind and generous like God is. And then, how did he get to be so greedy and selfish? Thankfully, something happened to change Zacchaeus so he could become generous. What happened? Hmm. I'm going to remind you that Zacchaeus discovered that God loved him and receiving God's love in Jesus and loving him in return set Zacchaeus free to be the superhero of generosity that God had created him to be. Guess what? Guess what? God created each one of us to be superheroes of his love. Just like little old Zacchaeus, right? We don't always act like Jesus, right? We don't always act like him. The things that we have happened to mess up inside can be so wrong sometimes and the wrong actions that come out of us. But when each one of us experience God's love like Zacchaeus did, we will be the change too. In fact, it's the only way that you and I can become the real heroes, the real heroes, the real heroes of God. All right, that was an awesome service, guys. I am so glad that you've tuned in. Thanks for watching. We're going to get ready to do a quick little uh, prayer before we go. So, dear Jesus, I ask that you would touch each one of us to have a generous heart. In your name, Jesus. Amen. All right, guys. Have an awesome Sunday. Bye.